Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am Tangy the Caver's wife. What makes your garden grow? Water and sunshine. What makes your spirit grow? Knowing that she'll be mine. Tater bug, tater bug. It's Friday and I'm gonna try to make Fridays the day that we update the garden. Of course, like I already said, it's been raining all day and it's finally let up so I ran out here. But I wanted to remind you that it, since it's Friday, it's Frugal Family Food. And this week we have Eric from Life in Farmland who not only has really interesting, very entertaining videos, but they're also beautiful. He, his artistry behind his videos are just amazing. Um, so definitely check it out. It is the month of grilling and so he's going to be giving us one of his favorite frugal grilling recipes. And also don't forget if you haven't already joined the Frugal Family Food Facebook group, it is a wonderful community where we're sharing lots of tips, um, both on saving money, uh, we're sharing recipes, um, if you have a question about anything like, hey, I bought this piece of meat on sale. I've never cooked with it before. What would you do with it? And within five minutes, you've got 15 different responses and ideas. So definitely check out the group. We'd love to have you. I feel sprinkles, so I'm going to try to do this quickly. Okay, so you guys. here's the entry to the, uh, the garden area and look at the zinnias. Check out. Finally starting to get some little tight bloom heads. And look at this, you guys. The chamomile's coming up. It's taken a while, but there it is. So I'm really excited. Hopefully I'll be able to harvest some uh, chamomile before the summer's over. The sunflowers are getting nice and tall. And There's we also whole beans that I planted next to uh, the sunflowers for them to go up. So they're starting to uh, get a little bit of height on them there. Okay, let's look at the raised beds. Look how magnificent, you guys. Okay, so basically my lettuce needs to all be trimmed down. I've been dehydrating it and making it into green powder for um, for smoothies and things. And then this fall when I plant kale and spinach, some of that will also go into the green powder. But right now I'm just trying to get through this lettuce uh, endive. I'm, I'm almost done with my French uh, French ra French breakfast radishes. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to plant more or if I'm gonna plant something else in their place once we get them all done. But our carrots are looking really good, you guys. The greens are getting gorgeous. There's the uh, freckled romaine. Um, and I have to tell you, I tasted the watermelon radish. Uh, I don't know that I'm gonna grow these again. They're really spicy. I know my family won't like them. I am gonna do a, a small batch of pickled watermelon radishes to see if we like those but they're just really really too spicy for our likings you never know until you try right <laughs> okay um here's a concern that i have and this is really kind of a dumb move on my part is i planted the peanuts too close to the carrots so they're kind of i don't know if i should thin these out like thin the this out because um, i really really want these to do well but I hate the thought of losing the carrots. Do. Oh. Uh, here's the second, the second bed, and look, my peas are getting blossoms on them. Finally, Let's see, we're getting blossoms. There's some white ones down there. Um, but yeah, oh, here's one. There's a blossom. Yay! So we'll be we'll be harvesting peas pretty soon. Oh, the sprinkling is getting a little heavier. So let's hurry up and get over here in the row garden. So everything is doing magnificently. Everything, look at this. Oh my goodness, is that one ready? That is gorgeous. No, I think it can, it can stay on a little longer. Uh, peppers are doing wonderfully. Tomatoes are doing wonderfully. I noticed a San Marzano blushing. Uh, beets are looking good. We've been harvesting jalapenos for the last week. You guys have seen our how we can uh, jalapeno video. Got a blossom on our marigold and got a lot of heads on it. Hopefully this will be blooming out and go be gorgeous soon. Look, tomatoes for days. Okay, 
Uh, I have already noticed a bunch of green beans, little green beans. Uh, we'll be harvesting these probably by the end of next week, but with all this rain, I don't know. We're expecting rain for the next week, pretty much. So look, where we at? There we go, look at there. I'm so excited, you guys. There might be some green beans in here ready to pick, I don't know. <clears throat> I did harvest one uh, yellow pear tomato, but it's the only one that was ready. So, these are starting to blush down here. Everything's looking good. I do have some bug damage on my collard greens, but not too bad. Some of them are untouched. There is the uh, muncher cucumbers are starting to get tall and they're climbing up the uh, trellis that I made. That is so cute. I just love the rustic look that it adds to the garden. As you can see, we've got a lot of grass. Corn's laying over because of the wind and the rain, but it'll stand back up. It's not too bad, but it is supposed to get a little more severe and that's kind of making me nervous. Just look at those tomatoes, you guys. I'm just so excited. Uh, okra is looking good. I've got to get out here and weed though. Look at all the weeds. Okay. Here's our cucumbers. I noticed one that was about the size of my thumb yesterday, I think. Oh, there it is. Of course, it's pretty much doubled in size. That's the only cucumber we have that size, though. We don't have any that's big enough to pick for uh, pickling. So, yellow crookneck squash, yellow crookneck squash, yellow crookneck squash, patty pan. Yay! It's looking really, really good, and I am really, really looking forward to harvesting it. I've tasted it before. They taste like yellow crookneck squash, but I just love the shape of them, and I just think it's going to add to to the to the bounty as far as looks go. Um, we've already been harvesting some of the zucchini. I have already had to kill some uh, squash bugs. There we go. Yeah, so I'd say in the next day or two, I'll have three really good sized zucchinis to pick. I wanted to show you guys these mortgage lifters. Look at this one down here. Can you see that? That is one. That is one mortgage lifter. It is huge. Hey you guys, that's the garden. It's doing really, really well. And like I said, I've been praying really hard that this tropical storm that's coming through isn't going to do any kind of real damage. But what a blessing, right? Absolute blessing. God is good. So I hope you enjoyed the garden update. Don't forget to check out Eric from Life and Farmland and see what he's grilling up for us. Um, and that's all I've got for you guys today. I'm a homestead homie. Until next time. You made it to the end of the video. Awesome. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, go ahead and do that. I would love for you to stick around. Um, like I've said before, we talk about biblical homemaking and womanhood here. We talk about homeschooling, working from home. Uh, we talk about gardening and food preservation and all the cool things. And I would love it if you would hang out with me. And then while you're at it over here, I've got a video that I suggest you watch. And yeah, that's it. Have a great day. Later.